time of the month again. What is going on everybody? How are you all doing? It is actually a glorious day outside. She and Rock would be going out there today because today I've got to dust all of this. As you can see I've removed the minifigures which are usually all the way along here but they get in the way. They're all in the bag down there. It's going to be a long one. There are three tools that I use to dust. A lot of people do this in like different ways. They use water, they use like they put it in the bath with washing of liquid. I do that when it's incredibly dusty and these things don't work as well but for the most part, because I keep on top of it now, these three things work a treat. So let's get into it. Tool number one, vacuum cleaner slash hoover. You obviously got to plug it in and switch it on. Tool number one has been set up. And this funky looking thing is actually the second tool. It's a tube that I will connect to the end of your hoover. It has many different fittings. This has like an extra bit of plastic with it, which I'm not going to be able to take off because I'm too weak. So it comes in like two separate parts. One that is like slightly bigger so it will fit on the end of specific hoovers like this one. Fits on there no bother. Like this can be used for like other compatible hoovers. Ones that's like not as thick as that one or one that is a bit thinner. And on the end you do have a brush on the end which is relatively soft considering how many bristles it's got. You do get quite a few of these in this pack. I'll actually link the pack in the description before if you do want to buy it. It's on Amazon. I think it was about... 12 13 pound but you don't only just get the tube you get the tube the two bits of plastic about three of these and a bunch of other like utensils which you can use like generally not just for lego but like cleaning your keyboard cleaning your window like getting behind places it's, just, it's, just, it's a really good tool to have and i do use this for my lego all the time but this is where number three comes into it literally just a duster or a quiffer or whatever you want to call it this is mainly used for the likes of tiles which you can see yeah it's incredibly dusty as soon as you do that, the dust is gone. The reason I don't use the bristles for plates is because I learned this the hard way. It actually scratches them. I'm not, the camera's not gonna pick it up like at all. I'm looking now, like, it's not picking it up, but in specific light, I've scratched a lot of me bricks doing this. I think you can vaguely see on the side of the bookshop here. A lot of these plates are scratched because I've used the bristles when I really shouldn't have. He set off the shelf and I'm probably gonna use the grid hole because this one is like, Probably the dust just one out of the lower of them. So I'm going to take it through and just show you like the before and after of like how dusty this thing looks now. Compared to like what it looks like now when this has been dusted using the techniques that I have. Please don't judge us but this is what it looks like now. It's quite dusty. This is like a month's worth of dust. For some reason it gets incredibly dusty in my room very easily compared to like other people, like other people's rooms. I don't know whether it's because my room's absolutely tiny or whether like there's not enough airflow in my room, I'm not sure how it works, but if it is to do with airflow, I'd understand why, because I never open the windows because I'm scared of spiders. But this, this is just like a before, then it's cut to me actually dusting this thing. Voila, it's done. I'm gonna turn it around here just so you can see the comparison of how it looked like before and how it looked like now. Oh dear. Look at that. Looks as good as new. Not a speck of dust anyway. I generally feel like this is the most efficient method, method possible to dust these things. Like it literally looks like a brand new set now. I don't like see my reflection in this. I see myself waving at myself. Yeah, it really is a good combination to have. It really is. Obviously, the time is obviously dependent on whether you're dusting like a massive set or like a smaller one. I know for a fact that the Disney Castle, Taj Mahal, and Tower Bridge do take a very long time to dust because they do have a lot of like little grooves and whatnot. And you can see there, this one's pretty dusty, so I'll have to do that one very shortly. Hogwarts is like the newest one I've got. I've only had that up for about two months now, so it's not too dusty, but I'd imagine this one will also take a very long time to dust. 
So I hope you enjoyed today's rather short video, but please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe down below if you found any of these tips helpful. I'd love to know if I've helped somebody out today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.